Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. DIY stoves are awesome, in particular when you're looking at ultralight DIY alcohol stoves. Although it really doesn't take too much to build one of these, some people just don't want to or don't have the time to or don't have the supplies to. So the only option for these people if they want an ultralight stove is to purchase one. Now there's a lot of alcohol stoves out there like the Trangia, maybe the Evernew Titanium stove. But if you're looking for something truly ultralight like the Cat Can stove for example, and you don't want to make one, do you have an option? Well, there are a couple of companies that make very nice DIY type stoves. One of them is Mini Bowl Designs. I picked up three of their stoves and we're gonna test them out today. Let's check them out. Thanks for watching, guys. Here are our three stoves. We've got the Turbo Gnome right here. We've got the Elite Pro and the MBDC Elite over here. We'll start by taking a look at the Turbo Gnome. This is a very simple extruded aluminum stove. It's got a little spiral of carbon felt on the inside. Very simple, one piece design. You can use this available simmering to make it into a simmering stove, which is very, very nice. This costs $10. We're gonna weigh it real quick. This weighs 12 grams or 3 eighths of an ounce for the Turbo Gnome. Next, we'll take a look at the Elite Pro. This is a very nice stove. It costs $20. It is a dual chamber stove, so it has an inner and outer wall. I'll see if you guys can see here. There are these little tabs on top, just barely little bitty crimps on top, and that allows the pot to stand just so slightly proud of the top. It also comes with this fiberglass wicking across the outside to help with priming. This one weighs 14 grams or half an ounce. Again, it costs $20. Then we go over to the MBDC Elite. This one costs $25. He says the reason it costs a little more is because it is more labor intensive to make. It is out of an espresso and cream Starbucks coffee can. And it's very, very similar to this other one. It's got the jets on the outside. It's also an inner and outer walled stove. Also has the little crimps on top for the pot to stand on. Let's weigh this one. 12 grams or 3 eighths of an ounce. So the same as the Turbo Gnome. So we're gonna take each of these and we're gonna boil two cups of water and we're gonna use one ounce of fuel in each. We will of course have to use a little bit extra to prime these. So which one do you guys think will bring up two cups of water to a bowl fastest. Make sure you put your pick down in the comments. Let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Turbo Gnome. I have it sitting on top of the simmering. It just gets it a little bit up off the ground. I think it'll work better that way. We're gonna pour our one ounce of fuel in. That comes right up to the little uh, ports. So you wanna just be very careful. We're going to go ahead and start it and get our water on. You can see we're at 65 degrees. That's going. Put this on, start this up, and let's see how long it takes to get to a boil and how long we get flame on the turbo. No. All right, we're getting there. 752, boil at 752 for the turbo gnome. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off because I wanna show you guys how it looks uh, burning and we're gonna see how long it burns for. This just shows you how much heat comes from this little stove. It's pretty amazing. That flame is going straight out the top of, your, uh, of the screen there. You can see that there's yellow flame on the top here, but if the pot's on there, it's only getting that blue flame. It's only getting yellow as it gets higher and gets colder. So the blue flame is what hits the bottom of the pot and it really is efficient. We're really starting to get much less of a flame here uh, it still would probably be causing a boil, but um, we're gonna go ahead and call it here. Let's just say 1245. We're definitely getting to the point where this is not gonna be as effective. So 1245 total for uh, one ounce of fuel to burn in the Turbo Gnome. Here we go with the Elite Pro. We've got one ounce of fuel going in. I'm trying a new fuel, guys. This is denatured alcohol, but it is clean burning denatured alcohol. I also have this windbreaker just a little bit to give it a little bit of wind protection. And I put a little bit around the edges on the priming wick. So let's get this going. We just have to wait for it to prime. Shouldn't take too long. We'll have this ready to go.
There it goes. Put it on, start this up. I could have started it as soon as I lit it, but I didn't. Maybe I should have. It might have taken, what, maybe six, eight seconds for it to prime. So let's see how long it takes for this to get to a boil. In some of my testing, this stove, along with the MBDC Elite, has not gotten water to a boil, two cups of water to a boil with one ounce of fuel. So let's see how it does today. Getting pretty close here, guys. Boil at 655. That's a boil at 655 for the Elite Pro. We're gonna go ahead and leave it on there and see how long it burns for. Starting to die, and we'll call it right there, 858. Eight minutes, 58 seconds for a boil on the Elite Pro. Let's check out the MBDC Elite. All right, last of our mini bull stoves. We've got one ounce of fuel. Once again, I've got this a little bit of fuel on the outside for preheating. We'll wait for it to bloom. There it goes. Hit go. Make sure this is nice and centered. Actually looks pretty good. So let's see how long it takes to get two cups of water to a boil with the MBDC Elite. All right, we're getting close here with the MBDC Elite. 634. 634 for a boil time. Let's see how long it burns for. Seems to be dying a little bit. We'll call that out 855. Eight minutes, 55 seconds burn time for the MBDC Elite. So did you pick which one would be the fastest? Looking at the uh, Turbo Gnome, I love the simplicity of it. It is amazing how such a small, very simple stove can produce so much heat and burn for so long. It got water to a boil in seven minutes, 52 seconds, a little bit slower than the others, but it burned for almost 13 minutes total. I quoted some prices earlier and I checked since then and I think that the prices have gone up because the Turbo Gnome is actually $15 instead of $10 and I'll tell you guys the difference in the other prices as well. The Elite Pro is a little bit more of a complex stove. It costs $25 instead of 20 what I said earlier and it brought water to a bowl faster six minutes 55 seconds and it burned for a total of eight minutes 58 seconds the MBDC elite is the most expensive at $30 and it was the fastest to bring water to a boil it did it in six minutes 34 seconds and burnt for a total of eight minutes 55 seconds all of these are very good times I think for what you're dealing with they're all very good stoves you're looking at two full cups of water starting at about 65 degrees. I think they're very respectable times from the standpoint of boil times. Just a few tips on these stoves. Let me tell you guys a little bit about the evolution of this video. I shot the first review of the Mini Bull Design stoves about five months ago. I never really felt comfortable with the times. Towards the end of that particular video, I figured out that I was using too small of a diameter of a pot and it was really making the bull time suffer. And I didn't feel comfortable at all publishing that video because I didn't think that it represented these stoves very well. Fast forward to about two weeks ago and I redid this video, got very similar results to today and was very happy with it. I put it into Final Cut Pro X. I edited everything, had everything ready to go. And I guess I thought that I had exported it, but I hadn't and I deleted everything. So here we are again, filming it for the third time. Few tips on these stoves just for you guys to know if you happen to get some from Mini Bowl. Like I said a second ago, pot diameter really matters. If you use too small of a pot diameter, it will not work well with these stoves. They create a pretty wide flame pattern and they really will wrap around and waste a lot of heat if it's too small of a pot. A windscreen also makes a big difference. Now it helps with any kind of an alcohol stove, but I found that the windscreen use with these particular stoves makes a huge difference. Even inside, you see much better bowl times with a simple windscreen. It also, quite frankly, took quite a few burns until my boil times stabilized, and I was even happy with them. Initially, I didn't think these stoves were very good. It took 20 to 25 burns in each stove before they really got stable and efficient. And I'm glad I kept going with them because they are excellent stoves, and I really wasn't super pleased with them when I first got them. Moral of the story is if you get them, be patient, keep burning through them, and they're gonna work better for you. Now, are these stoves cheap? Well, that depends how you look at it. 
If you don't have the means to make yourself your own stove, then you're either going to buy a commercially available stove like a Trangia, which is going to be much heavier, or maybe an Evernew Titanium, which is going to be even more expensive. You can obviously make a fancy fee stove for much cheaper, but we already talked about the fact that if you're in the market for the stove, you probably either A, don't want to make a stove, or B, you're just a stove freak like me. These stoves, in my opinion, are top quality. The craftsmanship is excellent. You can watch a lot of Tinny's videos to watch how he makes them, and it's really amazing the detail and the techniques that he used to make these stoves very reproducible. They are excellent. If you're looking for an awesome DIY type alcohol stove that weighs very little, check out Mini Bull Designs. I will leave a link down below to their webpage. This is a completely unsolicited video. I have no relationship with Mini Bull Designs. I simply bought these stoves and I'm very happy with them. And I wanted you guys to be aware of how they perform in case you were interested in getting them yourself. Now, by the way, I also bought a fourth Mini Bull stove. It is a remote stove, so it has a remote feed, and I use it for long cooks or long bakes. I used it in a prior video when I used a firebox stove kit to bake something. I'll make a complete separate video on this stove because it's so different than these being a remote uh, feed stove. It's really, really cool. Stay tuned for that in the near future. I don't know if you guys are aware, I have an entire playlist just on stoves. Check down below and I'll leave a link for that. If you like the video guys, please, please, please give it a thumbs up down below. Really helps spread things across YouTube and is one of the main ways that our channels grow. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button and hit that ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know when I release a new video. I absolutely love videos like this. I love it so much that I made it three times. As always guys, thanks for watching the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.